Tonight, the image is still coming in after that strong earthquake hit Southern California. A 5.2 magnitude quake near San Diego warnings all the way to Los Angeles. A home camera capturing the shaking in a living room in Al Cajon. California has long been known as earthquake country, and as the state sits on top of active fault lines, the prospect of a devastating seismic event looms large. The San Andreas Fault, the most famous and feared of California's fault lines, is where scientists expect the big one a catastrophic earthquake that could reach a magnitude of 7.8 or higher to strike. There's growing concern among experts that this event could happen sooner rather than later, with the possibility of it occurring within months. Dangers from a number of different kinds of earthquakes. You know, the major danger is from the earthquakes on the San Andreas Fault System. Becoming a serious topic of discussion. If this earthquake hits, it would cause widespread destruction in both the Southern California and San Francisco Bay Area, depending on where the rupture takes place. Scientists and seismologists have been closely monitoring the San Andreas Fault and other local fault lines, especially after a series of recent tremors that have rattled the Golden State. Since the beginning of February 2025, California has experienced several earthquakes that have raised alarms. On February 13, 2025, a 4.3 magnitude earthquake struck just six miles north-northwest of Avenal, and just days before, three smaller quakes were recorded near Hayward. When we had that earlier earthquake, we were wondering if that was a potential a foreshock for something greater. So, of course, we'll have to see what the rest of the day has in store. ABC 7's Lena Howland has been out at San Francisco's Ocean Beach all morning long talking to people who felt that first earthquake. And she joins us live from Ocean Beach. So, Lena, where were you and did you feel the jolt? This latest one, in fact. <laughs> Along the Hayward Fault, which runs through the San Francisco Bay Area, experts have long been concerned about this fault line, which hasn't experienced a significant earthquake since October 21st, 1868, when a 6. 8 magnitude quake struck, but that doesn't mean another one isn't overdue. Could this be the start of something bigger? Many believe that these recent tremors are just the beginning and that the big one could strike at any time, especially given the seismic stress that has been building up for decades along the San Andreas Fault. Experts warn that the risk of a major earthquake in California is currently high, and much of this has to do with the fact that stress is accumulating along the fault lines, waiting for the right moment to release. This could potentially cause a devastating rupture, especially in the southern regions of California, where the big one is most likely to hit. The threat is not just a theoretical one. California has seen real earthquakes in recent years, albeit smaller in magnitude. Just days after the initial tremors in February, another earthquake of magnitude 2.9 struck near Petrolia, and yet another one hit near the geysers. These smaller quakes have shaken residents across the state, keeping them on edge as seismologists caution that a larger event is more likely than ever. The big one refers to an earthquake of monumental scale that could change California forever. Estimates suggest that a magnitude 8.0 earthquake on the San Andreas Fault could result in over 1,800 deaths, 50,000 injuries, and $200 billion in damages. Not only would this catastrophic event cause devastating infrastructure damage, but it would also displace thousands of people, leaving many without homes or businesses. With millions of people living in close proximity to the fault, the potential impact of such a seismic disaster is mind-boggling. The San Andreas Fault has been active for millions of years, and while it's true that California has made significant progress in earthquake preparedness, the challenge is far from over. Professor Jonathan Stewart of UCLA's Samueli School of Engineering argues that while California has certainly improved in terms of its seismic risk mitigation, it's still vulnerable. Not only does California need to continue with retrofit programs for bridges and other critical infrastructure, but vulnerable buildings also need to be upgraded to withstand earthquakes. According to Stewart, while Southern California is considered the most likely location for the next major quake. Smaller faults, like the San Fernando Fault, are still dangerous, especially in populated areas like Los Angeles. Seismic experts like Elizabeth Cochran from the United States Geological Survey, USGS, say that Southern California faces a 36% chance of a magnitude 7.5 or greater earthquake within the next 30 years. While this is a high probability, Cochran also notes that temporary fluctuations in seismic activity 
activity are normal, so it's important not to panic at every tremor. However, it's crucial that residents and officials continue to prepare and plan ahead. So what exactly can California expect? While experts can't pinpoint the exact date or time of the big one, the science behind earthquake prediction is rapidly improving. Some experts believe that the southern part of the state is due for a massive earthquake, particularly because the stress in this region has been building up for more than a century. Historical records showed that the last major earthquake in the southern portion of the fault was in 1857, the Fort Tejon earthquake. Since then, the San Andreas Fault has been quiet. The earthquake hit and tonight there's obvious concern about possible aftershocks now. Stephanie Ramos is in Southern California for us. Tonight, families in Southern California bracing for aftershocks after a 5.2 magnitude earthquake struck near San Diego. And experts say that we're well past due for another major event. What happens when the big one hits? The immediate aftermath would be devastating, with severe ground shaking causing widespread damage to buildings, bridges, and roads, particularly in major cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco. Utility systems such as water and power would be severely impacted, and transportation systems would grind to a halt, landslides, wildfires, and tsunamis could further devastate affected areas. The question is not if it will happen, but when it will strike. Given the historical data, experts agree that the southern San Andreas Fault is the most likely location for the next significant rupture. Experts also warn that even smaller quakes, such as those from local faults near Los Angeles, can still cause serious damage. The 1994 Northridge earthquake, which was centered north of Los Angeles, caused widespread devastation and loss of life, reminding residents that the big one doesn't always have to come from the San Andreas Fault. Smaller faults, such as the San Jacinto and Elsinore Faults, also pose significant risks. In fact, the San Jacinto Fault has seen increased seismic activity and many experts worry that it could trigger a larger event in the future. As California residents prepare for the inevitable, it's crucial to note that the state's disaster response system has been put to the test in recent months. Especially during wildfires that ravaged the region, Governor Gavin Newsom and officials in Los Angeles faced criticism for their response to the fires, which exposed some serious gaps in the state's emergency preparedness systems. The fear now is that the state is not as ready for a major earthquake as it should be. While seismic retrofitting programs have been implemented, many older buildings and infrastructure remain vulnerable, and California has yet to fully address risks to water distribution systems and lifeline infrastructure. Experts like Stewart argue that it's vital for California to keep focusing on earthquake mitigation, but political challenges and public complacency make it difficult to maintain the necessary urgency. California's disaster preparedness is a work in progress, and until the big one strikes, it's difficult to know just how prepared the state is. What we do know is that the threat is real, and residents need to continue planning, preparing, and educating themselves on what to do when disaster strikes. So while experts remain divided on the exact timing of the big one, the seismic activity in California should be a wake-up call. The clock is ticking, and we could be looking at the next major quake in the coming months. Whether it's the San Andreas Fault, the Hayward Fault, or another active fault, California residents need to be ready for the possibility of the big one.